and welcome. I'm Laura Live Navistrum Yoga. This is just going to be a quick little vinyasa yoga workout. Alright, so let's start on hands and knees with some cat cow stretches. Get the body moving, get the breath flowing with the body. Inhaling to cow, draw the shoulder blades together. Exhale to cat, arch the spine, let the head drop down, back and forth, following the pace of your breath. And then let's just take the right leg out to the side, take the right arm up, twist open, let the head fall back. Simple little twist here. Hand and knee back to the floor. Switch sides. Left leg out, left arm up. and knees to the floor. Let's go ahead and drop the hips back to child's pose, lengthening out arms, forehead to the floor. And then we're going to kind of scoop our way in to a cobra pose. So start to bend the elbows, pull your chest forward, almost like you're trying to dive underneath a fence and then come on up with the upper body, let the legs lengthen, and let's just go back and forth a couple times. So now you can go ahead and lift your hips, drop them back to your heels, child's pose, and then scooping forward, inhale to cobra. Exhale, hips back to child's pose. Inhale, sliding to cobra. Exhale, child's pose, one more time. Inhale, sliding through to cobra. And then from here, take downward facing dog. So tuck your toes, lift your knees and hips, move the heart back and give yourself a little time to pedal through the feet, bending one knee, let the opposite leg straighten and then switch sides. Root into the hands, lift the hips up. Let's take the right leg into the air. Go ahead and open the hip, reach those toes for the ceiling but try to keep your shoulders level and your neck relaxed. Look forward, step forward, right hand or right foot all the way up between the hands, knee over ankle. Let's float up to crescent pose. So taking a high lunge here, reach through the fingers, lunge into that front knee. Now, fingertips to the floor. We're going to step the back foot in a little closer and drop the back heel as you straighten the front leg. Fold over it, pyramid pose. Root into the back heel. Attempt to keep your hips level here for the stretch. Plant the palms. Step to plank pose, shoulders over wrists, reach through the heels, reach through the head, strong through the core of the body. We're going to lower by bending the elbows. You can take knees down first if you want to, otherwise coming to Chaturanga Dandasana, hovering, and then flip to the tops of the feet for upward dog. If your knees came to the floor, you'll just come to cobra, keeping the thighs down. And then from your back bend, roll over your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog. Let's sweep that left leg into the air, reach the toes for the ceiling, shoulders stay level, neck stays relaxed. Look forward, step forward, crescent pose, side two. This is a high lunge. Front knee over ankle, trying to get that front thigh parallel with the floor, and the back leg is going to straighten out as much as possible. Press through the heel, 
lift the underside of your knee. And then fingertips to the floor. Step the back foot a little closer so you can get your heel down as you straighten your left leg and fold in pyramid. Plant the palms, step back plank. Lower Chaturanga, inhale up dog or cobra, exhale downward facing dog and hold, lengthening on the inhales by rooting down with the hands and trying to lift your hips up and away. Deepen on your exhales by melting your heart back towards your thighs, maybe straightening the legs and dropping the heels. And then inhale, look to the front of the mat. Let's step or walk, or you can hop the feet forward. Big toes to touch, heels slightly apart. Fingers to shins, lift halfway up for Ardha Uttanasana. Nice, long, flattened back. Maybe even pulling the navel in a little bit, engaging your abdominals. Exhale, fold Uttanasana, and then root down with the feet, reverse swan dive. Come all the way up, reach the arms. Palms together in front of the heart. Standing in Tadasana for just a moment, tuning in with your Ujjayi breath as we prepare to move into some Sun A's. When you're ready, inhale, reach the arms out and up, lift the heart, look up, maybe palms together, exhale, Swan Dive Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift, Ardha Uttanasana, exhale, stepping to plank and lowering Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog, and then just take one inhale. Exhale, step, walk, or hop forward again. Half lift, fold, reverse swan dive. Follow the pace of your own breath here. You don't have to move at the same rate as me. Inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift, stepping back and lowering, or you can jump straight back to Chaturanga. Elbows bend before your feet land. Up dog or cobra and down dog. One inhale. Exhale, step, walk, or hop forward. Half lift and fold and so on. Let's do two more of these. Again, follow your own breath so you don't have to be at my pace. After you've completed that second one, find your way to the top of the mat if you need to hold in standing for a moment, palms together in front of the heart. And then let's bend the knees, sink the hips, take chair pose, Utkatasana. Weight on the heels, navel in, tail down. Find your zigzag. Don't make it too back bendy. And then we're gonna twist to the right. Left elbow outside of the right leg, press the palms. Little prayer twist, keep those knees and feet together. And then standing on the right foot, shoot the left leg back. High lunge, twist, fly the arms open. Come on up, reach back, reach to that back leg, look to that back heel if you can. And then we're gonna take the left hand to the ground, inside the right foot, plant the palm, right arm up, shoulders stack, stabilize the upper body, we're gonna to step to side plank on the left. So roll to the outer edge of your left foot and move that right foot into place. Lift the hips and the gaze. Turn to the floor, take a vinyasa. You're in plank, you can just lower chaturanga, up dog or cobra, and downward facing dog. One inhale, 
Exhale, step walk or hop forward. Half lift and fold. Chair pose, Utkatasana. And we're gonna twist the other way. So right elbow outside of the left leg. I'm gonna flip to the other side of my mat to keep facing you. When you're ready, step the right foot back. Find your balance in your high lunge twist. Fly the arms. This is optional, but if you do it on the first side, do it here too. Come on up, keep your twist. Stretch back, reach for that back leg, look to your back heel, keep lunging. And then right hand down inside the left foot. Stack the shoulders. Get the whole shoulder girdle stabilized so you can keep the upper body still as you transition to side plank now on the right side. Turn to the floor, plant the palms, Chaturanga Dandasana, Cobra or Up Dog, and exhale. Downward facing dog. Let's take the right leg up on an inhale. Exhale, bring the knee to the chest, shoulders forward over the wrists. Inhale, lift the leg. Exhale, we're gonna tap the right arm with the right knee. Inhale, down dog split. And then the other arm, so left arm with right knee. Little twist. Inhale, down dog split. Exhale, step that right foot forward. Back heel pivots down, this time warrior one. Try to square your hips, front knee over ankle, level things out, shoulders over hips and then arms up, maybe palms together, look up. From here, warrior three, lean in, take the weight to the right foot, maybe palms come together or you can extend the arms ahead of you if you've got room. And then chair pose. Bend the knees, sink the hips, feet are together at the top of the mat. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha. Moving through Vinyasa, we'll head back to down dog so we can do the other side. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, down dog split. Exhale, knee taps the left arm. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, knee to the right arm, little twist here. Inhale, lift. Exhale, step. Back heel down. Come on up for a few breaths in warrior one. Get your alignment, so check in with feet, hips, shoulders, and then arms, and then maybe head. And then we'll transition to warrior three. Find your way to the balance. Feet together, bend those knees, chair pose at the top of your mat. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha. Moving through Vinyasa, head back to downward facing dog. Take the right leg up on an inhale. Exhale, step it forward. We're gonna start with warrior one. So inhale, come on up now. We're gonna take our right hand down inside of the right foot, shoulder and knee press. Adjust the back foot so back arch lines up with front heel. Take the top arm up. Left hand to hip, right fingers forward, half moon pose. Take the weight to the right foot again, but keep the body open. And then if you're able to, take your top arm back up. Bend the front knee to help you step back. Warrior two. Level out the hips, front knee over the ankle. Arms at shoulder height, look over those front fingers. Reverse swan dive, just one breath to stretch back and then hands to the floor. Take a vinyasa here again, maybe one-legged chaturanga. Other side, inhale the left leg up. Exhale to bring it forward. Warrior one, and then the left hand is gonna come down inside the left foot. Adjust your back foot, right arm up. Shoulder and knee press against each other.
right hand to your hip to help with this transition to half moon pose, Ardha Chandrasana. Step back to warrior two, front heel and back arch align, level out the hips, knee over ankle, shoulders over hips, arms at shoulder height, gaze over those front fingertips. Turning the front palm up, one breath, reverse warrior, keep your lunge and then hands to the floor. Vinyasa. Again, maybe one-legged chaturanga. Inhale, look to the front of the mat. Exhale, step walk or hop the feet forward. Take a half lift. Fold down. Chair pose. Utkatasana. Let's go right back into vinyasa. From down dog, we're going to come back forward to plank, and we're just going to do a little bit of knee to chest, knee to chest, knee to chest. If you want to do mountain climbers and run it out, you can go ahead and do that. Otherwise, you can keep it slow and smooth. Up to you for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, hang in there, 4, three, hips level, and one, and then vinyasa, so chaturanga, up dog or cobra, down dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step it forward. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior, straighten the front leg. Exhale into triangle, trikonasana pose. Root down with the feet. Extend with the sides of the torso and the arms. Stretch back and vinyasa. From down dog, we're going to come forward to plank again. This time we're just going to do a few chaturanga push-ups. You can do these with knees to the floor. Lower, push back up. I'm gonna take my knees down, so feel free to do that. If you can do it with straight legs, great. We're gonna do three more. One more, I think that's where we're at. Woo! And a downward facing dog. Inhale, take the left leg up. Exhale, step it forward. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Straighten that front leg. Let's come to triangle. And reverse. Take your vinyasa. From down dog, let's take knees to the floor, forearms to the floor, dolphin pose, elbows under shoulders, push down with those forearms, lift the hips up, move the heart back, head should hang freely. Right leg into the air, open the hip, bend the knee as well. So drop your heel to your hip, point that knee to the sky. Root down with the arms, and then toes down, switch sides, left leg up, open the hip and bend the knee. Foot down from here. Let's come to a forearm plank, and we're gonna do some dolphin push-ups. So exhale, heart moves back, hips rise. Inhale, come forward, nose over knuckles. Exhale, lift. Inhale, follow the breath here. Three more.
and then hold forearm plank for five, four, three, two, and then knees to the floor, lower the whole belly down, bend the knees, reach back with the hands for the feet for bow pose. Shoulder blades pull together, come on up with legs, arms. Release your feet, hands next to the chest, push up cobra, and exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look to the front of the mat. Exhale, step walk or hop the feet forward. Take a half lift, fold down, chair pose, Utkatasana, and then we're gonna drop the hips for boat pose, Navasana. Coming to a little more balance, little core work. Now from here, we're gonna hug the knees in, but try to keep the feet from touching the floor. Curl into a little ball, and then inhale. Extend back out, boat. Exhale, curl in. Inhale, reach out. Exhale in. And follow the breath. We'll do a few more here. Keep the balance best you can. One more time. This time as you reach the legs out, see if you can grab hold of the feet, push the feet into the hands, lift the heart, extending the stretch. And release the feet, take the feet to the floor wide. We're gonna set up for Malasana Garland Pose. Arms inside the legs, press the palms, heart forward. Arms underneath shins. Let's take crow pose, bakasana. Shift your weight forward onto your hands. Try to float the feet up. Hold here, or optional, if you want to play into inversions a little bit, see if you can lightly take your head to the floor. It's going to be slightly ahead of the hands, but generally between them. And then take the legs up. And then when you're ready to come down, bend those knees again. See if you can get the shins to the arms, feet together, and then see if you can float, carefully float the head off the ground without letting the feet immediately drop down, coming back to crow pose. And down, let's come to our backs. We're gonna take one more back bend here. Bridge, or if you're up for wheel, wheel is a little more vigorous. If you're still in workout mode, you can take that. But make sure it's safe, so hands next to your ears, fingers towards your shoulders, elbows towards the ceiling. Press the feet down, roll first to the top of your head, adjust your feet, plug your shoulders in, and then straighten the limbs to float up. If you want to go deeper, lift the heels, tiptoe the feet towards your hands, and then return the heels to the floor. Try not to let those toes turn out. And lift the heels, tuck the chin, come down to the back of the head. Let's take the right knee in, extend the left leg out. Use the left hand to pull that right knee across the body. Turn the head and right shoulder back to the right. And switch sides. So switch legs, left leg in, right leg out. Use your right hand on that left knee to pull across. Turn your head back to the left. Coming back to center, knees to chest, rock. Shoulders to hips, roll through that spine. This should feel good if it does not skip it. <laughs> Coming all the way back up. Let's just take the legs out. We're just gonna do a simple forward fold. Flex the feet, engage your quads. Inhale, reach the arms out and up, and then exhale. 
Paschimottanasana. Walk yourself in, come back up. Let's cross the legs. So I hope this quick little vinyasa yoga practice met your needs for today. If you need any deeper stretching, please, now's the time. You're warmed up, go for it. I also encourage you to take a little time in Shavasana. From here, let's inhale, reach the arms out and up. Exhale, palms together in front of the heart. Close the eyes, just tune back into your breath here for a moment. Check in with yourself. And we'll end with a simple bow. The light in me recognizes and honors the light in you wherever you are. Thank you so much for joining me today and sharing this practice. Namaste. All right, good work. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. If you did like this practice, give it a thumbs up so that I know. And I do hope you'll subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. All right, take care and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.